हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई अभिनव नेगी वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन बाई जूज एग्जाम प्रेप इन दिस वेरी स्पेशल सेशन आई विल बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट द पॉइजन रेशियो सो बिफोर आई बिगिन विथ लेट मी जस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ माई नेम इज अभिनव नेगी हैव डन माई एम टेक फ्रॉम आई टी दिल्ली गॉट ऑल इंडिया रैंक वन सिक्सटी फोर इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व गाइज बिफोर पॉइजन रेशियो physics can be broadly classified into two types one is the rigid body physics and the another is deformable physics this rigid body physics means that we are considering a body to be rigid here and whatever the forces we are applying here the relative position of two points is not changing the shape the length the size elongation contraction nothing is happening here no change in shape and size this is the rigid body that is a pure assumption the another one is deformable physics where we consider a body to be deformed here when we apply the forces the length may be changed maybe it elongate or compressed or might be the shape also be changed so here in strength of materials we are dealing with these kind of bodies that is the deformable physics in deformable physics in strength of materials we study the compression effect as you can see here in your screen when a compressive force is applied the length is decreased similarly when a tensile force is applied length is increased when a torque is applied there is a twist in the body and in a beam due to the various forces there is deflection and slope these all things we find in strength of materials apart from this we also learn or see or observe one more thing that is the poisson's ratio before coming to the poisson's ratio let me tell you that there was a french mathematician and physicist whose name was simon poisson on his name only this poisson's ratio has come what is this poisson effect what is this poisson ratio guys you can see on your screen when there is a tensile force in a body it elongates in the direction of force but due to this tensile force it compress in the transverse direction similarly when we apply the compressive force it shortens in the direction of force but in the transverse direction the dimensions are increased this ratio of the two strains in the longitudinal and transverse is poisson ratio now what is the longitudinal strain longitudinal strain means the strain in the direction of force or stress and any strain which is 90 degree or in the transverse direction to that force is called as lateral so in the direction of force in the direction of stress it is the longitudinal strain and transverse direction that is the perpendicular directions the strain caused is the lateral one now you can see here when we apply the force in the longitudinal direction it compressed in the lateral direction the direction of force is longitudinal and the perpendicular to the transverse to it is called the lateral direction now what is poisson's ratio it is the ratio of lateral strain by longitudinal strain now why this minus sign is here because most commonly for most of the materials if we elongate the body then the strain is tensile let it consider as positive and another direction it is decreased that is compression that is negative so one of the values will be positive and one of the values will be negative so one or one more minus sign will make it positive in most of the cases what are the, the rest of the cases that i will tell you in very short while so mu is or poisson's ratio is the ratio of lateral strain by longitudinal strain and if one direction is elongated other direction is compressed or vice versa that is why one of these strains either longitudinal or lateral will be positive 
and another one will be negative and the ratio overall becomes positive for most of the cases. Now for this whole lecture I will be assuming x, y and z direction as you can see in your screen. The horizontal direction is the x, the vertical is y and the axis which is coming out of your screen to your head that is the z direction. Now if we see a body here and we apply a force then due to this force the longitudinal direction is the direction of stress. So due to this stress it is elongated in the longitudinal direction and it is compressed in the lateral direction. Guys please note longitudinal is not the bigger one. Here the longitudinal means the direction of force or stress. So once in longitudinal direction as you can see on your screen it is elongated and in the lateral direction it is compressed. So what is the strain in x direction due to this stress sigma x. So strain in x direction is sigma x by e. Of course this is a unidirectional loading and as far as possible whenever there is unidirectional loading Hooke's law is valid. So strain in the x direction will be sigma by young smallness. But what will be strain in y and z direction? Because we are studying the Poisson ratio now. We know that Poisson ratio is ratio of lateral by longitudinal. So mu is minus epsilon y by epsilon x or epsilon minus epsilon z by epsilon x. y and z both will be same here because y is also 90 degree to x, z is also 90 degree to x. So epsilon y and epsilon z both will be same. So what will be the strain in y direction? So the strain in y direction will be minus mu epsilon x and that will be minus mu sigma x by e. Similarly, strain in z direction will be minus mu sigma x by e. Now my friends, my champions, either you take tension as positive, so compression will be negative and if you are applying the longitudinal in x direction, you are applying the tensile stress. So in x and z, it will be compressed. So that is the minus here. Similarly, if you compress in x direction, in y and z, it will be elongated. So I, it's your choice. The first way you can think like, either think this as a formula, that epsilon y is minus mu sigma x by e, or epsilon z is minus mu sigma x by e. And if the stresses are compressive, then write sigma x in minus, so minus mu minus sigma x by e will make it positive. Of course, when the in x direction, the stresses are compressive. So in y and z, it will be elongated. So minus mu and minus sigma x. Minus sigma x means if it is compressive. So it will be overall positive. This is unidirectional loading. Suppose let me come to the three direction loading. Same x direction, y direction and the z direction. So here strain in x direction due to sigma x leave sigma y leave sigma z suppose only sigma x is acting so strain will be sigma x by e stress by young smallness due to sigma y since stress in y direction if now leave delete from your mind x and z sigma x and sigma z is not acting only sigma y is acting so x direction is lateral so lateral strain will be minus mu as we have studied earlier. So minus mu sigma y by e. Now delete sigma x and sigma y. Due to sigma z stress. Strain in x direction. X is lateral for sigma z. Because once the stress is acting sigma z that means z is longitudinal. Wherever the load of stress is acting that is the longitudinal direction. So now we have eliminated sigma y and sigma x. That means sigma z is only acting. So that means z is longitudinal, so x will be the lateral, so the strain will be minus mu sigma z by e. You can take this as a formula, if any of the stresses are compressive, just replace that stress value with a negative sign. Similarly, strain in y direction, remove sigma x and sigma z from your mind. So strain in y direction, epsilon y, due to sigma y is sigma y by e, due to sigma x it is minus mu sigma x by e, and due to sigma z, 
it will be minus mu sigma z by e because for y direction strain z is the literal for sigma x stress y is literal similarly strain in z direction due to sigma z is sigma z by e and due to sigma y and sigma x so that will be literal for them so it will be minus mu sigma x by e minus mu sigma y by e this is when the loading is three directional now as we are studying the deformable physics i told you na one is rigid body physics another is deformable physics so in deformable physics the body will deform the volume will change okay guys in your 8th or 9th class chapters a bullet a sphere is converted into or molded and reconverted into the forms of cylindrical bullets how many cylindrical bullets you can make so you equate the volume in rigid body physics volume is equal but in deformable physics volume may increase or may decrease now what is the volume change delta v delta l into bd plus delta d into lb plus delta b into ld if you closely observe this formula this is quite relatable one change in volume in its x direction is delta l c imagine delta l into area bd so whatever the area bd into delta l that is the volume change here similarly the volume change in width is delta b into the area there that is ld similarly the volume change here is delta d depth change into the surface area lb so volumetric strain is epsilon x plus epsilon y plus epsilon z from where it comes see delta v delta v change in volume you already know so volumetric strain is delta v by v and from that expression of delta v if you divide volume lbd you will be getting delta l by l delta b by b delta d by d that is epsilon x plus epsilon y plus epsilon z and epsilon x plus epsilon y plus epsilon z are these expressions and once you add these expressions you will be getting the volume as sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z 1 minus 2 mu by e now from this expressions let me tell you one thing tension you have taken as positive compression you have taken as negative if the summation of sigma x sigma y sigma z is positive that means total change of volume is positive volume increasing because 1 minus 2 mu is anyhow to be positive 1 minus 2 mu any because mu is not greater than 0.5 so 1 minus 2 mu will be positive so if sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z is positive it will be volume increased and if sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z is negative it will be volume decrease now these are the values of poison ratio poison ratio varies from minus 1 to 1 for metals it will be 0 to 1 and for ductile metals it is 0 0.25 to 0 0.33 that is 1 by 4 to 1 by 3 again i am repeating mu value for all substances in this world varies from minus 1 to 1 mu values for metals is 0 to 1 mu values for ductile metals is from 1 by 4 that is 0.25 to 1 by 3 that is 0.33 mu value 0.5 that is rubber or perfectly plastic and if you apply mu value 0.5 in this expression of volumetric strain you will be getting volume change 0 that means if you fill air in a balloon volume is not changing volume is not changing how how the volume is not changing when you fill this with air because the volume expression here is not the volume of inside space it is the volume of material so volume of rubber material is not changing although the surface area is increased but the thickness is decreased so here the formula for volume is not of the inside space it is of material so material surface area of the balloon increases once you fill this but the thickness decreases and overall the volume is not changing for rubber now mu values for different metals ranges from minus 1 to 0.5 now what this orange line signifies mu positive mu positive means mu is lateral by longitudinal minus of lateral by longitudinal so mu positive means if one direction it is increasing another direction it will be compressed so longitudinal is positive lateral is negative with one more minus sign it is positive 
म्यू फॉर कॉर्क म्यू फॉर कॉर्क इज जीरो दैट मीन्स म्यू इज माइनस लिटल बाय लॉन्गिट्यूडल स्ट्रेन दैट मीन्स देर इज नो लिटल स्ट्रेन इन कॉर्क दैट इज वाई इट इज यूज इन वाइन बोटल्स because when you are compressing it or elongating you don't want the diameter of cork should change otherwise the glass bottle may crack if diameter increases when we apply a compressive force so we don't want that that is why we use cork apart from some other chemical reasons also okay so mu zero means there is no little strain and mu negatives of some polymers and so form or human tissues as well mu negative means that lateral strain and longitudinal strain are both of same sign if one is increasing tensile other is also tensile and how is this possible because you are not accepting this figure of yellow figure because it still in your mind there is a there is a expression that there is a concept that volume remains constant no it is not a rigid body physics here volume may change even for the mu in the orange this orange body there is there is also volume is changing so volume may change now how the soap polymers human tissues are behaving let me tell you example their molecular arrangements hinges are such that if you see them from microscopic level the hinges are such that that when you are applying a force it increases in both directions lateral and longitudinal this is the direction of or this is the arrangement of molecules there okay so guys i hope you enjoyed this class i will be eagerly waiting for your comments in the comment section this is the ground zero series we have started with strength of materials okay you can join me in my telegram civil by abhinav sir for any other discussion this is the schedule every week we'll be having one subject this week it will be strength of materials then it will be fluid mechanics then again third week will be different subjects so this is the schedule of this week for high quality videos then a live session on saturday guys i will be eagerly waiting for your comments on the comment section stay tuned subscribe the channel and share it with all your friends thank you take care